Dear viewers, welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. As we have started to revit Autodex revit tutorial series, and this is our second lecture. And in our previous two lecture, actually, uh, in one lecture, I have just uh, provided you some basic information, and second lecture, I have just shown you that how uh, if your template is not available, then how will add? So, in this lecture, I will just give you the full concept of that software so uh, first of all i am opening our software from here, here and i am using revit 2017 and it's not a uh, fact that which version you are using every version a uh, work procedure are almost same so it's opening and after completing that opening so here you are seeing here um, something that so here is the project and it's representing the default setting i mean default file or and also in the bottom it's family so by using that family we will be able to draw our wall windows door etc and uh, from project we will start our project by using some default template and here um, you are seeing the quick access uh, toolbar or like that so what i'll do actually to create a i mean to, to start a project i'll just click here new so when i'll click here new then uh, we have to select from here template but here i'm using template and in our previous lecture i have just shown you that they have no template here so how i have added the template here that video link are also given in description and also if you think that uh here uh, without the template actually in AutoCAD no requirement of any template but uh, in Revit we cannot work properly without a template when I am uh, working for an architectural uh, drawing or architectural design then I have to use an arch architectural template or for construction here uh, uh, for construction I have to use a structural or a structural analysis or something and for plumbing I have to use plumbing uh, like that for construction so they have many template available actually what is the template actually the template is the default setting of a project I mean if we use a certain uh, here if we use a certain template then I will be used I mean will be able to use that template or will be able to use some uh, exact setting in our project so suppose here I am using they have two unit US or matrix what do you want to use so I'm using here architectural US and from here you have to click here project okay so it's project template or project so we'll use project so after that I'll just simply click okay okay and wait for some time it will it's updating and so just wait for some time it's working for first time as i'm opening that template for first time that's why it's taking time so here is our main uh, windows you are seeing here this is our main windows so how we will actually use that in this lecture i'm just giving you a basic i'm just giving you a basic knowledge on it so here if you see this is here our toolbar okay and here's the quick access toolbar here uh, this is the quick access toolbar and from here actually when we'll work then you'll understand everything but now I'm just giving you a simple idea and here this is the most important part architecture okay architectural uh, drawing components so in architectural part you will get modify option wall door windows component column roof ceiling floor and they have for complex uh, I mean for if you want to draw a complex surface then you can use that option after that there are many things a stair ramp railing so here a uh, wall available thinker I mean available uh, re, uh, available in instruments are given here and for architectural uh, structural part here we are able to draw beam wall column uh, floor then uh, here isolated uh, foundation wall slab and for river drawing we are able to use that option for reinforcement drawing so in this way 
they have many things okay they have many things that are already given in default and here for system from system we are able to work for a plumbing or mechanical uh, like that this component are available here so here pipe then plumbing texture there are many things are available here and from insert we are able to insert many types of file here I mean CAD or many things is available here input CAD or GV XML and here annotate in annotate we are able to use the dimensional part then of here many things available and also in analysis in analysis part we are able to use that option to design our a structure and a missing and site sorry uh, massing and site so here you are able to use that option so by using suppose here top of surface by using that op option you are able to draw different uh, level of surface uh, for contour and for site component here you are seeing that you are able to manage your site component by using that option and collaborate so um, here uh, this is not so important for us view so from view you are able to see your a structure in 3d view or section view so they have many vis visualization option and here the manage from manage uh, we are able to change our project unit or something actually uh, actually who is in which unit or uh, how in which way you want to manage your project so uh, in our previous lecture i have just shown you over that how will manage how will use that option i mean how will use this manner manage option okay so and here's, here's the uh, add-ins so if you have if you need to uh, add any add-ins then you can add here and modify finally by using that option and if you are an autocad user then you uh, know better about that option but if you are not that no then no problem i'll just cover that perfectly okay so when it's done and uh, by clicking here you are able to this is the um, actually menu so from here you will able to save open a new project open a file and here import you are able to import uh, in cat format or uh, dwf like here building uh, site so many format are available okay and here the publishing print and save save as okay here save as template or save as project as library uh, as you need actually you can change from here and here is the option okay so i'll just click here and the finally here you are seeing that this is um, here actually you are seeing that is the uh, on panel here okay so uh, from here this is the property uh, bar as per i mean as like as autocad uh, we are able to use that option perfectly and actually this is known as uh, i mean we can tell it as quick editing box okay so here we can when we'll start a project then we are able to edit everything from here quickly and here you are seeing that the project browser what is the meaning of project browser actually what you are doing what you are doing you are able to maintain from here so i will just uh, move that project browser okay project browser in that site i think uh, sorry in that site here i'll just move that um when and when you are using new i mean first time then you will see that in that uh, that side so i request to move that like i have done in that side so that you can um, do that perfectly i mean you you can um, utilize your work procedure perfectly and here you are seeing that four arrow actually this is known as camera okay when we are uh, working when we're working a project and um, this camera will show us the different angle of view and the uh, another thing is another thing is that uh, here we have to create our project middle of that camera okay middle of that camera we have to understand about that that we have to create our project middle of that camera so uh, that was this lecture and here actually suppose if I select it or if I select that and if I delete that okay then okay if i delete that just see here the elevation or building elevation uh, the one have done i mean one have gone east i mean east have um, gone so in this way so um, uh, control control z 
so in this way um, we can utilize our software and here you are saying that this is some quick tools by using that has the scale by using that at which scale will uh, see our structure and here is the uh, visual style there are many things actually so uh, hidden tools or anything that toggle view so a temporary height or isolated or project so i hope um, you get a basic introduction about that software i mean where who is have available in our software so you know from our next lecture i will uh, start our project i mean i will complete a full project by using that uh, mm, software so thank you thank you very much let's do it let's stay connected till next video